The Shredder Sort project is a three-year European project formed by 11 industrial and academic partners in fields related to recycling, metal sorting and measurement systems. The aim of the project was to improve the recycling of metals such as aluminium, copper and magnesium present in end-of-life vehicles to reduce the demand for their raw materials. To achieve this, the project consortium has developed three different sorting lines for use in commercial shredder plants. End of Life Vehicles, or ELV, account for around 10 million tonnes of waste per year in the EU. Around 75% of this waste is currently recycled, but this falls short of the 95% target set by the European ELV Directive. The non-ferrous metals in ELV scrap include cast aluminium alloys from engine blocks, pistons and cylinder heads, and wrought aluminium alloys from stamped, extruded and forged vehicle components. The initial processing of ELV metal scrap is performed in shredder plants, which chop the dismantled and depolluted vehicles into pieces around 5 to 20 centimeters in size. Magnetic separators separate out iron and steel fragments, and eddy current separators separate out the non-ferrous metals, including aluminium, copper alloys and magnesium. Most aluminium scrap is recycled to produce secondary cast aluminium because cast aluminium tolerates higher levels of contaminating elements. Around 50 million tons of aluminium products are produced yearly worldwide, expected to be 200 million tons by 2050. In the next few years, the availability of scrap aluminium will exceed the amount needed to produce secondary cast aluminium while there will be a shortage of sorted wrought aluminium scrap to recycle into secondary wrought aluminium. The Shredder Sword project has developed three different sorting lines to address this problem. The high-speed LIBS line uses a technique called laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy LIBS, to distinguish and separate cast aluminium alloys from wrought aluminium alloys. Non-ferrous metal scrap fragments travel on a 1 meter wide conveyor running at 2 meters per second to process 2.5 tons per hour. Then a short, high-powered laser pulse is focused onto each fragment as it passes by. This ablates a small mass from the surface of the fragment and generates a tiny plasma plume, which lasts for only a few microseconds. The system contains six lasers and six scanning systems. The scanners direct the laser beams onto the samples and collect the admitted light. It passes via optical fibers to a fast spectrometer, which measures the short duration spectra from each plasma, determining the composition of each metal fragment. Air ejectors then send each fragment into one of three different collection bins, one for cast aluminium, one for wrought aluminium, and one for other metals. The project has also developed two other sorting lines. One uses LIPS to sort wrought aluminium alloys according to series, and the other uses machine vision and magnetic induction to separate non-ferrous scrap into copper, aluminium and brass plus bronze streams. The project consortium comprises 11 partners from academia and industry who have contributed to the research, development and validation of the three sorting lines. The project is coordinated by the Spanish SME, Lens Instruments. Following the end of the project in December 2016, the project partners plan to commercialise and use the sorting lines in end-of-life vehicle and other recycling applications. For more information about the project and the participating partners, please refer to the project website.